Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John Coleman and I team up with Bill Jordan, who knows hey how to embrace the boom. Yes. Oh, man, you worked it in pretty quickly there, didn't you? Thank you oh, very much. Oh, yeah. Okay, shameless plug, shameless plug. <laughs> there we go. I love starting out the uh, our videos with a, a shameless plug. It's well, you know, good. that way we do it and we don't forget about it. And, you know, don't forget, there's also a book that I have handy here, too. So uh, maybe we'll talk about that later. It's All right, now we're going to have to start charging your bell. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> hey, listen, um, it's interesting as we get older, and I, you may not admit it, but I admit I'm getting older. Um, you kind of, you, you, your mindset changes. You look at things differently. Do you agree? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, of course, our priorities change. And it's maybe as we get away from work, there, there are other things. I mean, a, a side note on that is in even having our new puppy. And I'm not trying to compare puppies with grandchildren, but when you're not, and it's the only way I can think of this is, is because I'm not working anymore and my mind is not elsewhere, I focus now more on their development. So when my grandchildren, hey, all of a sudden, hey, she's kind of reasoning with me. Hey, she actually won that argument you know, or discussion, <laughs> or when the puppy starts to learn, hey, our puppy now knows mommy and daddy. I can say, where's mommy? And she goes running. It's like, how did that happen? I never noticed that before, but that's all because of where we are in life, I think, and we can notice more things. That's true. Uh, the latest thing that I have noticed about myself, and I guess it is a mindset, I find that there are three things that I used to be hesitant to say, and now I am very, shall we say, at least quick to say, or at least quick to consider. And one of them is, I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Somebody asked you a question, well, I, I don't know. The other one is, I don't care. <laughs> and that's a, that's a really good one. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care. And number three is, no. Wow. Or, or no thank you. Yeah. Hey, hey, you want to go? You want to join us? We're going to go out bar hopping tonight. No, no, thank you. Really? No, no, thanks. Very interesting. You know, so I, I think, and it's not being a rudeness. I mean, sometimes because I, I was a media guy, radio guy for, for years here in the Raleigh area. And I, I mean, I emceed countless things and it was always part of the job. And since I, you know, at least semi-retired, in fact, 10 years ago, I'll still get people say, hey, can you come and MC this event? And I was still saying yes for a long time. Uh, I guess just to be a good guy or not want it to be seen to be rude or something and flattered that they, they asked me. But I have gotten the last few times to be where, you know what, I, I have retired. I did that for 40 years, and I would prefer not to do that. Thanks for thinking of me, but there are plenty of people in current media that kind of have to do these kinds of things, quotas every month that they have to make personal appearances. And you would do them a favor by asking them. Because then somebody will say, yeah, but it'll be fun to come judge our, excuse me, our costume contest for Halloween. It, it may be fun for you guys. It's really not fun for me because there's time, there's travel, there's, you know, don't you don't yeah. want to botch somebody's name. You don't, I mean, there's there, there's more to it than that. And I've just gotten a little bit better about going you know, no, thank you. I appreciate you thinking on me. But yeah, no, no, thank you. I don't know, and I don't care. And so you're talking about come. you're talking about a little bit more me time, from your standpoint. And well, uh, it is it is a priority, and this came up too in a conversation about, uh, like on TV, the the series Survivor um, mm -hmm. is now in its 44th season, uh, wow. I believe. Right. And you know that people were excited about it. It's like I haven't watched it since. I didn't have to watch it. I used to ah. have to watch it. I used to have to watch the Oscars. I used to have to watch the, the Grammys, yeah. uh, American Music yeah. Awards. So anything that I used to have to do, I generally now don't do unless I really want to. Now there are certainly things family-wise or whatever that you, know, you still kind of got to do, um, but I'm getting a little bit better about picking and and choosing and and yeah, it is uh, a different set of priorities. Well, I, um, I'm really surprised. Uh, uh, I, I thought you were going to come up with something like, "Why would you possibly ask me? What makes you think that I have anything well, of any well, value yeah, you're, you're to impart? Like look, look what I've well, made me, up that, in my that, life." That's the subcurrent <laughs> of my thought. That's that 
you know, that's that, uh, what do they call it? Imposter syndrome. It's like, and I've told people, it's like the, the fact that somebody would actually think of me, somebody will send me a note, hey, this made me think of you. It's like, that is bizarre to me that the idea of me, I could go through someone's mind in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? But still, you have like thousands, 5,000, 6,000 followers in uh, uh, Facebook. Something it's like 20, that. But, but who's counting? So, so, so here's the point. The point is that you've become a fixture for people. And so you're, you're like, and I hate to say this other, other than in a nice way, an old shoe. You know, a couple no, of I think hat, that's a, I think a that's a, sure. I, I, I like the old shoe uh, metaphor, and I like when people say, you know, I listen to you uh, and you seem like a neighbor. You seem like my brother yeah. or a friend. I mean, that was the best compliment you could ever get. You know, so that's I just try to carry that over into my social media post and stuff, and primarily Facebook. I've got a personal page for, you know, actually people I know, friends and family. Uh, very few might be a spouse of a friend or something that I've never met, but I'm, I'm friends with them because, you know, they're married to a friend. Uh, public pages, yeah, it's a little over 20,000 now, which has taken me 10 years to build that. Um, and But it's a, it's the greatest compliment. For, and then someone can quote me something I said 10 plus years ago on on the air or something that had happened. And I mean, that's that's quite flattering. And I appreciate that. Um, right. I'm, and I, I'm so glad, that's I'm how glad. I serve. That's how I kind of I serve now and get that outlet out. Is Facebook is basically just another, you know, another antenna. So I, I want to turn this positive because you, it, I, I don't want everybody to think you were a naysayer and a Debbie Downer. But uh, uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I can't speak for John, but I, I too, we used to go to a lot of things that now. So if we don't show up and and people think that, well, where are they? They probably a don't think that they probably even those were not there. And then we didn't go to another for us boring. Okay. Uh, and talk to each other about uh, 20 minutes after we get there. Okay. So when do we leave kind of thing? Yeah. So yeah. I think it's all the same syndrome. Well, you know, uh, there's, and there's the, a, it's, it's a great thought. I call it uh, the, the Facebook philosophy and you guys may have seen it. It's a meme and it's kind of like, sorry, I was late. I really didn't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, but isn't that true? I mean, it used to be, no, I never did this because of my work schedule or whatever, but people going out at night at 1030, they're going out. Yes. And now it's, you know, 830 is too late to start a movie. I mean, that's just the way life is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am impressed, Bill, with your uh, choices of things that are easier to say because they're, they're kind of really kind. They're, they're, they're nice things. Granted, well, they're no. they're good for you, but they're I think you're too nice. I I when you said that first one, I thought to myself, oh my God, can we put this on the internet? This is what's he gonna say? You know. Right, right, right. Well, yeah, when I say, you know, words that come easier as you get older, it's like, no, not that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, not that one either, or exactly. that one. And that's that's the other thing too. I, I find that that people as they get older, they always talk about, well, now I've gotten older, I don't have a filter. You know, and they seem very proud that they will say whatever to anyone, and no matter how cutting or insulting it is. Yeah. And I've kind of gone the other way. I may have gotten more of a filter. It's like because why should they necessarily care about my opinion? So sometimes it is better to just you know be quiet and observe. That's yeah, all. I I think that's the best if you can do it. That's the best thing is to. It's not about what you have to say. Just go through it, man. There's a zillion people on the planet. Don't let just a couple ruin your day. One more time. What are the three things? Uh, I have an easier time now as I have gotten older. I have recognized that I have an easier time saying, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. And we'll we'll put a thank you on the end of it. No thank you. Yeah. Good stuff. What do you think? And by the way, if you're watching this, in the comments... What anything like you find easier to say these days? And don't forget to like the video and share yeah. it and all that stuff. But comments really help the video get driven. And yeah, and by the way, one, one, one little caveat on that um, if you're going to use some of those four letter words, put a C and an exclamation point or a, a pound sign in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use, a, use a, my, a, my kids might read it. Use yeah, a symbol. We'll, we'll yeah. know what you mean. Right. So, Bill, I want to leave you with this one thought. These three things, I think, can be 
um, a new practice for you. You've got 15 practices. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of a. I'm, I mean, I'm working on some ideas for a, a sequel to this. You know, yeah. a second a second book, and nothing's really hit home yet. I don't know if another book of you know another 15 practices maybe. Um, this one really was. I mean, and if I may, just real quickly. I mean, this just came from a thing that I used to always love and still do love famous quotes and stuff like that. And I just started finding ones that I liked or came up with a few of my own and put them into these 15 or slash 16 practices that when I follow them, uh, I do have a calmer, uh, less drama filled, uh, more rewarding and fulfilling life in my Yeah, opinion. Well, they, they are, it's, it's a handy little book. It's filled with great life practices, I guess. And it's simple. And yes, you should start another book. Uh, I, I, by the way, I'm going to make a suggestion that what you do is you do what Moses did. Okay, this is 15 practices. How about the next one be, oops, 10 practices. <laughs> and, then, and then throw them down and break them. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I saw that movie too. Hey, oh, Bill, this... good to see you again. Right, Thanks you guys. for the words. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Don't forget, live your life. Forget your age and embrace the boom. Amen. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.